was good, friends. Richard here. Along with Steph. And with John. Coming to, we're about to take a, a mini trip, a mini road trip, uh, to Connecticut. From here in the New York City area. Looks like it's what, a hundred and something miles total. We're heading to Foxwoods. Yes. Should be fun. Wanna see Dave Chappelle? Well, we've hit our first bit of traffic. Saturday, this is the problem we leave. Late. John, say hello. John. John, do you prefer that setup or the couch, or the hammock type setup? Okay. I think he likes this one. What do you think, John? Which one you like, John? John, don't want that camera. John. Okay, he said no. I don't think so. So, we're here in traffic. Looking at our energy chart, we have, oh. we're predicted to end up at our destination at 9%, 9% for this trip. If we don't stop the charge. charge. We've Why got projected upside down? Oh, 67. No, it's okay. It's We've got projected 67 miles. Our average consumption is 250 watts per watt hour per mile. I don't understand what those numbers mean, especially the watt hour per mile. I understand it's a metric of energy, but I don't get it. What I care about is how much money am I paying to charge this car and how many miles am I getting? That's what I care about. For me, that's the most practical thing. Right there, wow, I don't know what was going on there. It hit 600 watt hours per mile? When was that? What the hell happened there? When was that? Recently? I don't know. I don't know. I don't get it either. That was just now, like... When did I drive this car last? This is miles. Just now, you were on the highway and now we're in traffic. Yo, that's crazy. Know. Oh man, that's, that's no bueno. things we've noticed on this trip uh, normally it is what it is pretty quick trip uh, 100 something miles to Connecticut we're stopping by in Norwalk uh, but here's what we've got so far uh, we've been traveling at 1156 that acted over an hour and 12 minutes um, we've got 25 miles travel in just over an hour it's ludicrous 307 watt hours per mile. Um, according to navigation, we'll get to our destination with 9%. So I'm debating charging before or get really adventurous and leave the charge after. But more importantly, for all you dog owners out there, normally I keep the seats up and use this thing as a hammock, um, but my dog just doesn't seem to like all the space. Um, He's been pretty antsy. Normally he's like asleep, passed out on these drives. Um, to this drive, he he's like more space than he knows what to do. It also might be he likes being cradled and whatnot. So, um, have to change that and see how he does the rest of the trip. But hopefully the traffic picks up because eh, not cool. But the
people behind us are very entertained by Uncle John. <laughs> but he sticks his head out. Everyone loves it. Oh right, John John? <laughs> Star of the show. <laughs> Never forget your childhood dreams. WWE headquarters. What you gonna do, brother? Hey friends, how's it going? Richard here, checking in, taking a quick pit stop here at the Darien, Connecticut northbound charger off of I-95. It's a pretty large rest stop. We've been here before. Um, it was crazy. It's traffic all the way up here. Normally a pretty quick and smooth drive, but there was an accident right before, maybe a mile, two miles before this, uh, this entry, um, rest stop. And this guy right here was dying to get out of the car. So I decided to hop in. We're only about a mile away from our first stop today. Um, Stephanie's friend's mom's place, something like that. So quick rest stop just to use the bathroom. Top up actually. And while I'm doing that, let's see what we got charge wise. Um, because I think these may have recently been replaced with level three chargers. Um, yeah, I'm getting, I don't know if that's visible, but 228 kilowatt right now. Great speed. So this should be a very good stop. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to extend it as long as I can because we don't want to stop again. Oh, John, what did you do? This is the problem when you have a dog and a, ay, 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 ay. Ah. What the hell? All right, get in the weeds with me, y'all. Oh, got him free. Okay, so yeah, we don't want to charge again unless we absolutely have to, because we've got, after uh, heading to this quick pit stop to uh, say hello to Stephanie's friends, uh, we're going to head to her mom's place up in the middle of, like, nowhere in Connecticut, in between Hartford and... Uh, where is it called again? Tallinn County or something like that? To drop Uncle John off. And then from there, we're heading to Foxwood. So I've got to hop in the car, letting this guy stretch his legs a little bit and also adjust the back seat. Uh, this is the first time, I want to try it out. I've seen a few other videos of people who, when they use, um, they have their dogs in the back seat, they, they lay down the third row or the bench flat and then have the dogs lay down in it. Normally I just have the hammock in the back and John just is chilling there sleeping. He was sliding all over the place. So uh, he just looked very uncomfortable. I'm gonna change that, raise up the bench again. Um, and then from there, finish the trip. See y'all. All right y'all, so we just had a quick stop session here at Darien, the Darien rest stop, Darien. northbound Darien. Northbound uh, on I-95 went up from like 9%. We're leaving here at 66%. This was a level three charger. We're getting pretty good rates for up until about 30 or 40% at 230 kilowatt. Uh, great charging, bathroom, water break, all good. And now we're on our way. So um, let's roll. Hey friends, how's it going? Almost at our second of three destinations. So. Pretty good. The, the ride here was much better than the first leg, stuck in traffic or not. Um, energy was great. We're, we're just about, just slightly ahead of our energy curve, um, which is great. We should be arriving shortly. Hopefully, I'll take I'll take that two percent if we can get it. But um, the one thing I've, I haven't tried, even though I've been here a few times before, we had we haven't tried autopilot on this. Wow, I just sensed like going up the hill. Um, I thought I was gonna crash into the road. But this is one of these like side roads, very narrow lanes. Um, we actually just passed an accident on the road, but like, like autopilot, it's, I'm keeping it at 50 miles an hour. I think there's a cap on these lower back roads, uh, about 50 miles an hour, 45 to 50, but so far it's doing a pretty good job of staying within the lanes. These lanes are clear, this lane anyway, is clearly marked. So I'm sure the autopilot system has 
zero issues with doing it. Although I do notice that although the speed is lower than I'm used to, I'm usually setting autopilot at 70 or 80, that because it's a battery, it's asking for that feedback with much more regularity. So that might be a system that Tesla has in place that when you're in back roads or um, you know suburban roads, that it, it's asking for a little more feedback, tactile feedback from the wheel. So pretty cool, doing a great job. Anyways, stoked that it's doing this well, performing as well. So on late nights, I don't have to worry about it, just, just let it do its thing. Although the deer apparently are pretty intense out here. So anyways, we're almost at our second destination. You have to drop off the dog. He's chilling in the back, but he's ready to get, get out. He's done with this trip. We're gonna pass him off and then on to our last leg to Foxwood. So Steph, anything else? Uh no. See you there. He's out. Bye. This bad guy. This bad guy. So this is your first time using autopilot, correct? Yes. After all right, it's been about five minutes, maybe ten minutes. What are your initial thoughts? Yeah. Initial thoughts. I want to just take over the steering wheel so bad, but it's actually pretty cool. All right. I'm, I'm, tr I'm trusting in the Tesla. Whoa. Got it. What what's concerning or like? Oh my gosh! <laughs> I told you people, you can go fast, but I'm afraid to. Got it. Ah. All right, let's check in another 20 minutes to see where we're at. Hey friends, how's it going? Just about to leave the casino here. We spent the night at Foxwoods Casino here in Connecticut, watching Dave Chappelle. Got my Chappelle mask on. Show was the show was dope. Anyways, wanted to hop on here and show. There were a couple of EV parking spots here. Uh, sponsored by EV Connecticut, Charge Point, whatever, J7772 outlets, but great here. Just not a lot though. Uh, I, I do see a few outlets having these spaces ha being near outlets, which is great too. You can just charge the car, but otherwise, um, you know, this is great. Ha fortunately, to catch one of the two spots here. Got in, charged the car, we're ready to go. Don't have to stop the supercharger on the way home. So pretty dope. The whip is ready to go. Fully charged. Well, 90, what's it? 93% weeks. Uh, anyways, great experience here, and hopefully we see this more proliferate more and more as um, it gets more mature. Anyways, take it easy. See you at the next one.